What's up, guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with the SketchUp 2019 update. So yesterday, SketchUp sent out a notification that SketchUp 2019 had been released. So I figured I'd take, um, I'd make a video, kind of walking through the blog post, um, what's new, what's changed, giving you an idea of what's in the new version. So I'll go ahead and go through what's out, what I'm seeing, all of that, and then uh, feel free to take that conversation about how you feel to the comments down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I will link to this blog post in the notes down below. This is SketchUp's blog post on what's new in the pro version. So I figured this is probably the easiest way to walk through this, and then we'll jump back and forth between this and SketchUp, taking a look at any changes and things like that. All right, so to start off, there's new plans and pricing for what you can purchase with SketchUp. So if we go to SketchUp's plans and pricing page, you can see how now there's a couple different options in here. There's the free online version, which hasn't really changed. There's the shop version, which is the online version with some additional features. And uh, that one hasn't changed as well. I think this price is the same that it was before. And then there's the pro version which is the desktop version that we've all been using. That's gone to a subscription model cost of $299 a year. And so if you go to the pro version of $299 a year and you scroll down, that comes with some things like um, unlimited cloud storage with Trimble Connect, as well as access to the AR VR mobile viewer and also the virtual reality headset viewer for your desktop. So that's available in the subscription model. And then um, layout comes with that as well. So none of that has really changed. And then the other thing that you don't really see on this initial pricing page is if you click this button for looking for a classic license, the classic license, which is just $695, is still available. And so you can purchase that. And uh, the only difference there is you get some limited cloud storage instead of unlimited. You only get the mobile viewer and none of the VR AR viewers. And um, there is a $120 annual fee to upgrade so and this is something that hasn't really changed so and then the pro version we already talked about which is the 299 a year and then the SketchUp studio version um, is similar to the pro version the difference is that comes with a license to Safira which is uh, the green modeling and uh, testing extension so if you want that that also I believe that that is also available as an option so the other thing to note is this $299 a year contains the premium online version SketchUp Shop with it where the um, classic version only contains the desktop software. So they've changed the way that this looks a little bit when you first log in. So if you click in here and you first log in, what this looks like now is it's got a little bit of a different splash or landing page here. And uh, it's not really that much different than what we had in there before. You can see all the different templates and everything else. And uh, this will start showing your recent files. Um, as you open it up, it also has a link to the learn page, which has links to SketchUp's forum, um, their new teaching, site SketchUp Campus and then their YouTube channel SketchUp Videos. So if we go ahead and we click on one of these, you're going to notice as we bring this up, so as we bring this up, there's a new default model in here. So and in the new version, the big new feature this year is the dashed lines function. So if you remember, if you've ever watched any of our uh, layout or any of my layout tutorials, you've had to do a whole lot with different layers um, in order to get different line weights and things like that. Well, what they've done in the new version is they've actually assign different layer or assign different line types in the layers menu so like for example let's say we wanted dotted lines those are now applied using the layers function so if I was to take this object for example and put it on the dotted lines layer and then come in here and click on the dashes function you can see how this is going to adjust the edges and lines in here so that they're going to be dotted so anything on this so anything on that layer is going to be dotted. Anything on this layer, let's say this was like dashed lines. We'll put this on the dashed lines layer and you can take this and you could add dashes to the lines here. So you can use this to adjust the way that those things are going to look. I don't know, I don't think you can adjust the line weights on these, at least in here. I have a feeling you probably do that inside the style. So if you go in here and you adjust your profiles to something like five, um, you can see how these are changing so that they're thicker. So you can adjust your line weights by adjusting your styles. 
So I haven't quite worked out exactly what the new layout uh, workflow looks like. So that's something that we're going to dive into in a future video. So in addition, they've also upgraded the um, tape measure tool. So when you click on the tape measure tool and you kind of mouse over something like this face, it's going to show you the area of the face. Or if you mouse over the edges, it's now going to show you the lengths of those edges without you having to go in here and start clicking to figure out the lengths. So that is a nice um, that is a nice upgrade. That's something that will make your life a little bit easier instead of having to do a whole bunch of clicking and things like that. There have also been some changes to the way that layout works. So um, specifically things like not letting you accidentally create multiple versions of a file, as well as a lot of improvements to the DWG import and export. Um, from an actual usage standpoint, the only big change that I saw is the ability, you can come in here and you can adjust the scroll speed inside of layout so that you can adjust this to uh, really kind of adjust you can adjust this to change how the interface works for you. So not a lot of earth shattering changes to layout or the way that's gonna work. There's there's a couple other things as well. There's some additional uh, Trimble Connect stuff. So if you're a subscriber, for example, you get unlimited storage space um, in Trimble Connect as opposed to 10 gigabytes if you get the classic version. So there's a new preview version in the SketchUp for web or the free version online and as well as the ability, it looks like, to edit some styles inside of that version. I haven't tested the uh, web version in a while, but uh, it sounds like those new versions are in there. Um, one thing you, you do get as a part of the subscription is the SketchUp viewer for AR and VR. So um, that's something where you can use um, um, where you can view your models with like Oculus Rift or the Vive or anything like that. So that's available as a part of that subscription. Um, the 3D warehouse has also added some different categories in there. So if you go to the warehouse like this, and let's say you search for like a car or something like that. Um, you can now come in here and they've added a bunch of different categories in here. So things like transportation or things like that to kind of better help sort all of this stuff inside the 3D warehouse. So being able to search for different things inside of those um, those categories could be really helpful for finding things inside the 3D warehouse. Um, like I mentioned earlier, if you have the uh, if you have the SketchUp Studio license, then you also get access to Safara, which is their energy modeling extension. So if that's something you do, you can see how this allows you to do different energy modeling and stuff like that. So as always, I would encourage you to keep your SketchUp 2018 still installed on your computer. I'll probably do a video about migrating your extensions over, but some of those have not been updated to work with SketchUp 2019. So at least for right now, I'd recommend keeping your 2018 available to work with if you're using a bunch of extensions. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, how do you feel about these new features? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.